Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, it's Carl here from lunchboxsessions.com, and we're going to do a little bit of troubleshooting on a container stacker, a machine a little bit like a forklift, except that it's used to lift those cans, those large sea cans or containers that travel on container ships across the ocean. And so this is a rolling mobile machine that operates at a shipping terminal. And let's just say that our problem is with boom lift cylinders. Here's one. There's two on this machine. Boom lift cylinders that are stalling out, ceasing to move during extension when they should continue to move. And we'll say it's happening while we're lifting a fairly heavy load, but a normal load, a load that the cylinder should be able to handle. So before we get underway with the troubleshooting, let's just look at some normal issues. First of all, our joystick is operating a electrohydraulically operated proportional directional valve down here in the lower left. And that's sending fluid to a special valve that is bolted to the bottom of each cylinder. And you also see it in the photograph. In fact, as I hover over each one of the symbols, in that special valve, you will see the outline in green in the photograph, lighting up for the matching screw-in style cartridge valve. And some of those cartridges are strictly pilot operated, as shown by the dark triangles, and some are operated by a solenoid, as shown by the rectangle with the diagonal slash. Some even have a mechanical override, a little place to push the screwdriver to operate the valve if there's questions about whether or not the valve's working. Even this simple check valve, you'll see lighting up in green on the Mimic photograph to show us what it looks like from the outside. So regenerative flow is something that takes place if the machine designer allows for it, but can only occur for a lightly loaded cylinder here it is happening where flow leaving the rod end is being forced to recombine with new flow coming from the pump and directional valve and that lets us have the fastest possible extend speed but that fast extend speed comes at a price it makes our cylinder a little weaker not as capable for lifting heavy loads and that is because the annular surface area on the rod side of the piston is cancelled against an equivalent amount of surface area on the blind side and so we're only left with a small amount of surface area for actual lifting. Well that's very handy for high speed moving of the cylinder while it is not heavily loaded. In the case of this container stacker we're sending the boom up quickly to the top of a stack where it is going to retrieve a container. But what if we're heavily loaded? If we're heavily loaded, a pressure transmitter, shown by this square symbol, notifies the electronic controller to cancel regenerative mode. And what we see is there is no longer flow taking place on this upper line in the valve bank. And that's accomplished by shutting down this solenoid valve, which in turn shuts down this pilot operated valve. Let's go into extend again with a light load and look at regenerative mode when it's occurring. Here's regenerative mode when it is occurring. Look at the valves that force rod oil to recombine as opposed to going to tank. And now let's shut off regenerative and see oil escaping to tank. So in my little simulation with you, if we have a scenario where our cylinders are in the extend mode to lift, but then when lifting a heavy container on the boom lift, all of a sudden we're finding out that they won't lift, then one of the possibilities is that we've been left in regenerative mode, and so we have excessive pressure in the cylinder that may simply be kicking out our relief valve or our pump's pressure compensator at its normal pressure. So in that case, we may just be looking for a valve that might have gotten stuck due to contaminants in the regen mode. Perhaps this particular valve, which either allows rod end oil to drain to tank or not allow it to, got stuck in the blocked position. And perhaps even though the computer may know 
that we don't have a heavy load on the boom while extending and has not triggered the solenoid valve that triggers that particular pilot operate valve. If this valve gets stuck in that position, won't return to its open position, then we're stuck in regenerative mode, which makes our cylinder weaker. Okay, that's it for this time around. I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.